many of us remember President Reagan's impressive and interesting speech on Star Wars program. How are we presently to President Reagan's vision of Star Wars? So Star Wars was the colloquial name for a program for missile defense, a uh, missile defense shield that would protect the United States and our allies from, from intercontinental ballistic missiles from the Soviet Union at the time. After the fall of the wall, uh, many of those programs um, were, were turned off, but not all of them. A number of them continue. And the ones that are continuing to this day are the ones that have to do with missile warning, for example. Uh, a number of them have to do with uh, the software, the guidance uh, systems for uh, the systems that are built by the Missile Defense Agency, which is another part of it entirely, not part of my portfolio, okay, to try to counter uh, ICBMs. Uh, but the sensor technology that does missile warning is part of my portfolio, and that is, you, it's, it's an overhead persistent infrared sensor uh, in a program called SIPR, Space Based Infrared System, who is the unblinking eye watching the world 24 by 7 for missile launches that could threaten the United States. It is what protects you each and every day while you are awake and while you are asleep from the potential for a surprise attack from any of the countries that have those capabilities. How far from the ground, once a missile is launched, does your phone ring or somebody's phone in the Pentagon ring? Oh, it, it, it doesn't have to be at all far from the ground. As soon as the thermal bloom of the launch comes up, that is what triggers the alert. It is seconds. It is, it, it is no distance off the ground. Mm -hmm. It is as soon as it is launched because the uh, infrared sensors are sensitive enough to pick up the heat signature from the launch itself. Not, you know, it doesn't have to wait for the missile to rise above the Earth. Mm -hmm. It can tell right away at the point of launch. Mm -hmm.